Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a numerical which is based on calculation of stagnation properties. So let's move on to the video. Let's start with first numerical on stagnation properties calculation. Find the Mach number, this Mach number, when aeroplane is flying at 1100 km per hour, the speed is given to us, but its unit is different. Through a steel air having pressure of, pressure is given to us as 7 Newton per centimeter square. Also, Newton per centimeter square is not our unit. Temperature is minus 5 degree centigrade. Obviously, we have to convert it. Wind velocity may be taken as 0. So, the velocity of wind is considered as 0. Take R is equal to 287 as usual. Calculate pressure, temperature and density of air. These three are the stagnation properties at stagnation point on nose of plane. We all know that obviously stagnation point lies at the nose of plane. So, at that location we have to calculate pressure, temperature, density and total Mach number. So, total 4 quantities we have to calculate. So, let's start with given data. Velocity is 900 km per hour. So, 900 We can convert it into meter per second by multiplying 5 by 18 or simply this is kilometer so into 1000 so it will convert it into meter and in our there are total 360060 60 into 60 seconds so the answer will be having unit as meter per second so it becomes 250 meter per second. Pressure P is given to us as 8 Newton per centimeter square. So 8 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per meter square. Temperature is minus 15 degree centigrade minus 15 degree centigrade and gamma value that is k value equal to 1.4 r value is 287 joules per kg per kilo so the basic formula for mac number is m equal to v upon c v is already calculated this is v c we have to calculate to calculate c that is sonic velocity sonic velocity c is equal to under root k r We will convert temperature minus 15 degree centigrade as 273 degree minus 15 is equal to 258 Kelvin because we will require this temperature value in Kelvin. So under root of 1.4 into 287 into 258 the multiplication of these three things and taking square root we will have value of c as 321.97 meter per second now it is easy for us to calculate mach number as 
V by C. Zero point seven seven six. Now we will calculate stagnation pressure. P S as the formula is P one in bracket one plus K minus one by two into m square where m is Mach number raised to the power k upon k minus 1. All the values are known to us just the task is to put them into the formula p1 is 8 into 10 to 4 1 plus k value is 1.4 minus 1 upon 2 Mach number is 0 0.776 square into 1.4 upon 1.4 minus 1 after solving we will have answer as 8 into 10 raised to 4 into 1.12 raised to power 3.5 that is equal to 118.95 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square. Second thing is stagnation temperature. Ts is having formula as T in bracket 1 plus K minus 1 upon 2 into M square. So T is 258 1 plus 1.4 minus 1 by 2 into M is 0 0.776. square we will have value as 289.07 degree Kelvin so there is an increase in temperature as usual third is a density at stagnation point This row S can be calculated as PS upon R into TS, a simple formula. Already we have calculated both the terms, R is known to us, divided by R is 287 into 289.07. So that is equal to 1.434. Obviously, unit will be in kg per meter cube. In this way, we have calculated all the terms which are asked in the problem. That's all. Thank you.